The study finds 87% of Chinese takeout eaten by team of prosecutors embroiled in late night investigations. <laughs> I love that trope. It's so funny that, you know, whether it is uh, prosecutors or corporate lawyers, they're all in front of uh, a big table late into the night, and then they just get box after box of Chinese takeout, and they have some brilliant idea while shoving uh, lo mein into their mouth. The Onion is by far the best source of satirical news on the internet, and they have on occasion taken shots at the legal profession, but the best satire has a grain of truth. So let's see how The Onion does when they make legal headlines. All right, so right off the bat, jurisprudence fetishist gets off on a technicality. <laughs> That's sick f <gasps> Probably something twisted like SMJ. Uh, oh my God, I can't believe I just made a subject matter jurisdiction slash BDSM joke. That is, uh, that, that is a heck of a way to start this video. Amazing. Uh, Katanji Brown Jackson weighs history against soul crushing thought of spending time with these people. Ooh. Okay, I really think that the thought that the members of the Supreme Court are not friends with each other, or at least professional with each other, I think that's completely overblown. I think despite their political differences, I think probably most of the people on the Supreme Court are perfectly fine with each other, and, and the people on the Supreme Court are perfectly fine human beings. Uh, I don't think uh, Ketanji Brown Jackson uh, will have much of a, of a decision to make here. She's gonna make history. All right, uh, class action suit against God pays out 45 extra seconds of life to every creature. Ooh, that hits close to the home, especially given the number of class action suits I've, I've covered. Calling it a historic victory for all who have been victims of the Lord's negligence, lawyers representing the planet's estimated 20 quintillion animal inhabitants announced Tuesday that a class action lawsuit against God would pay out an extra 45 seconds of life to each creature. Lead attorney Landon Burke announced that anyone who believed they were owed restitution by God could reply to the notice they received in the mail or sign up online to receive their supplemental 45 seconds of life. That's really funny because that is often how you have to provide the class the restitution that they get is through a postcard. It's a whole thing in, in federal court or going to this really janky website that always looks like a scam. Why do the class action websites always look terrible? It, people don't sign up because they think that they're being scammed when often it's, it's legit. I mean, class action lawsuits are notorious for paying out really small amounts of money or coupons to the class. Often the only people who get rich are the class action lawyers. So actually, in this case, this is brilliant. If you actually were a plaintiff's attorney and you got 45 seconds of life for 20 quintillion animals, then effectively your 30 or 40% of that quintillion animals seconds times 45 seconds, they'd live forever. It's always the plaintiff's attorneys who get tons and tons of money, even if the class gets almost nothing. Plaintiff's attorneys, man. Supreme Court rules gay rights do not extend to dessert. <laughs> that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's too close to what actually happened. While homosexuals do have the right to get married, the right to equal treatment does not cover instances of pastry, cake, or candy. All right, so uh, the, the Supreme Court case in question is a little more nuanced than that, but I get where they're coming from on this one. All right, man who never missed Ally McBeal back in the day joined the Trump legal team. <laughs> oh boy, it seems like uh, it seems like only yesterday that we were dealing with Donald Trump and his team of horrible, horrible lawyers. <laughs> Honestly, if you were comparing Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell to someone who never missed an episode of Ally McBeal, I think that would be a fair fight. That would probably be fine. And the funniest thing about this article is that it's from 2018. The worst Trump lawyers hadn't even been retained at that point. Man, we were so innocent back then. Christ sues Catholic Church for unlicensed use of his image. I never signed off on, nor do I endorse the sentiments behind any of these candles, plates, statues, paintings, none of it. I don't want to have my brand devalued by a bunch of people just trying to turn a quick buck by slapping on a reproduction of my wounded body on a cross. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I mean, frankly, uh, I'm not sure a whole bunch of people want to be associated with the Catholic Church after all of the headlines that have been in the news over the last couple of years. Yeah, especially Jesus. But at the same time, this is kind of similar to that Lil Nas X 
issue where he made the Satan shoes and he also made the Heaven shoes, which was a whole thing with Nike and they didn't want their brand associated with it. So uh, I don't know, I guess Nike is Jesus in this particular scenario. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. That's interesting. <laughs> Uh, new Uber update allows users to file a lawsuit against the company directly in app. Oh no, that's too true. Oh God, I, I wonder if those lawsuits have quieted down. I haven't heard much about Uber getting sued these days. I mean, there's the whole thing in California where it's a question of, are they misclassifying employees as independent contractors? But I mean, back in the day, Uber had like, 6,000 assault allegations made against them. And they they actually funded a, a recovery fund of, of four or $5 million. I, God, I hope that hasn't continued uh, to this day, but man, it, it, you know, having a button to be able to sue Uber within his own app, that would uh, that'd probably be helpful. Hopefully they have now cleaned up their act and uh, that's no longer an issue, but it was, it was kind of bad back in the day. Law school applications increase upon realization that any fucking idiot can be a lawyer. Oh boy, yeah. I mean, in the wake of the really crazy Kraken lawsuits, it really did seem like anyone could be a lawyer. It goes to show you, once you pass the bar, it's really, really hard to take someone's bar license away. Though, I gotta say, they sort of proved the impossible in that a lot of them got sanctioned and some of them were suspended. We'll see what happens to Rudy Giuliani. He may, in fact, lose his law license, seemingly doing the impossible. We always knew he could do it. Study finds 87% of Chinese takeout eaten by team of prosecutors embroiled in late night investigations. <laughs> I love that trope. It's so funny that, you know, whether it is uh, prosecutors or corporate lawyers, they're all in front of uh, a big table late into the night, and then they just get box after box of Chinese takeout, and they have some brilliant idea while shoving uh, lo mein into their mouths. It's such a great TV trope. I hope it never dies, because it's, it's amazing. Speaking of which, everyone on defense team an equally matched romantic interest for member of prosecution. This is this is such a great uh, trope that of course like everyone on the defense team has their counterpart on the prosecution and they're gonna fall in love and uh, they will betray their client for the greater good. Such a wonderful trope. American Bar Association recalls 230,000 defective lawyers. Boo, boo I say. Though in fairness, there's probably way more than 230,000 defective lawyers. That's how many new lawyers I think are created, or at least how many law students uh, there are in the country at any given time. So there's probably a lot more than 230,000 defective lawyers. I hate to be the one to say it. None that I've ever worked with. The lawyers who have been members of my firms have all been outstanding and have not been defective in any way, shape, or form. It's it's always opposing counsel that's the defective one. Your Honor, I object. You would! Now, whether you are a lawyer or just want to think like one, you can make sure you're not defective with logic or math with a course from today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning platform for STEM that replaces lecture videos with hands-on interactive lessons. Brilliant is for curious learners, both young and old, professional and inexperienced. Experienced. And one of my favorite courses is all about logic. Brilliant's logic courses cover liar and truth teller riddles, logical fallacies, machine logic, and even some strategic game theory. Uh, logic is a crucial skill that lawyers need every day, and Brilliant lets you learn by doing rather than listening to hours of boring lectures. Learning through doing is scientifically proven to be the most effective way to master any new skill. The courses have storytelling, interactive challenges, and problems to solve. And within Brilliant's library, you'll find courses and topics like calculus, linear algebra, and math. Uh, that apply to trading and finance. You'll also find courses on gravitational physics, astronomy, and machine learning. And you can level up in just five minutes a day by working on the daily challenge. Each daily challenge provides you with the context and framework that you need to complete it, so you don't have to take a deep dive if you don't want to. No need to make your brain bleed. Now you can sign up and start learning today for free at brilliant.org slash legal eagle, and the first 200 people to sign up will also get 20% off their annual subscription. So just click on the link that's on screen right now or in the description to get 20% off your subscription to Brilliant. Plus, clicking on that link really helps out this channel. And while you're there, click on this link with all of my other legal videos. So click on this link or I'll see you in court.